up everyone i'm satin i'm halima and we'd like to welcome you to our virtual new moon gathering so today is december 12th and on our agenda today we are going to be covering the significance of 1212 in numerology today's date we are also going to cover everything about the new moon that we are having on december 14th which is also a full solar eclipse and then we are also going to talk about some exciting things that are going to be happening um, in the stars and in the planets on December 21st. All right. So again, welcome. Thank you for tuning in with us. I just want to let you know that this was a live session. So you will hear some interactive talk between us and the viewers. Um, we usually have done this full moon or new moon meetup is just what we would do in person um, but due to the current circumstances and the climate of the world we can't do that so we figured we would bring it to you virtually um, again my name is Satin uh, I have my own business it's called Satros it's an all-natural skincare business and this is Halima and um, I also have a business it's called Thinkers and Dreamers Inc and we do free mentoring and tutoring services for kids grades K through 12 and we are strong advocates for holistic behavioral health. We don't like medicating kids. We believe in finding all natural ways to deal with any kind of issues that come up in the mental health of their children. All right. So we started these uh, gatherings almost two years ago now, yeah. which is crazy. It's amazing. I know. Um, and we've both grown so much spiritually, mentally, yes. mentally, and we are now sisters Absolutely. through all of this. Um, so we just, like I said, wanted to bring it to you virtually. Uh, we'll be going through everything we'll start with a short meditation that I pre-recorded for us to hear again this is live it was recorded live so you'll hear a lot of interaction with us and the people who are also on the zoom call with us um, so we hope you enjoy it and stay tuned, stay tuned. And as we approach the start to most of our weeks it's important for us to check in with our emotions and to be mindful of how we are feeling. Are you exhausted, drained, energetic, happy, or are you in the need of some sort of fulfillment or even some sort of release? It is important that we find moments to pause in all the chaos that we deal with daily. By pausing, we are practicing self-care and giving ourselves time to rest. We give our body and mind a chance to recharge so that we can keep moving forward and working. Pausing is a chance to recollect ourselves, to review where we are headed and what we are doing. The daily rush often makes us lose touch with reality. We stop noticing the things we used to pay attention to because our tunnel vision prevents us from looking around. Pausing can mean many things for each of us. Some, it's just enjoying quiet time or time in nature or even time with your family or doing mindless activities. For me, the greatest helpers and my favorite pauses along my healing journey have come from the clarity that I've gained through sound healing and meditation. Sound healing is an ancient healing practice that incorporates the use of singing bowls to promote deep relaxation, reduce stress and anxiety, as the resonance of the singing bowl synchronizes brain waves to induce a deep and extremely meditative and peaceful state. Um, other benefits of sound healing are chakra balancing. And in the Indian system of healing, when a physical dysfunction occurs, it is believed that one or more of our chakras which are also known as our energy centers, are blocked or unbalanced. Many people find that the rich blend of harmonic overtones that the bowls produce have a direct positive effect on balancing of the chakras. Meditation is one of the oldest healing processes and for me, it allows us to actively pause and just breathe and to release what no longer suits us and just allow for a whole sense of clarity. Both meditation and sound healing practices have been integral parts in the development of my business, Satrals or Satins Naturals, which provides all natural quality skincare and a wide array of meditation and group healing services. 
So before we start our busy weeks, I'd like to guide you through a brief meditation designed to bring you peace, tranquility, and healing. I hope you enjoy. Sitting comfortably or lying down with eyes closed, let's begin by becoming aware of the breath. the breath as it enters with a cool feeling and then warming as it gently travels down into the lungs. Fill the lungs with a deep inhale, bringing in energy, vitality, and prana, the life force. As you exhale, feel the body releasing toxins, stress, and any negativity that has accumulated. Stay with this breath, focusing on the feeling of deep peace for 10 inhalations and exhalations. Become aware of the warmth and tingling of every cell. Feel the energy that is extended in the environment, in every part of nature, and in every living thing. Bring all of those energies together and feel them as one. Visualize all of that energy shining brightly as the sun. Bring the shining glow of bright energy over the crown of your head. Feel it starting to travel down into your body from the top of your slowly going down onto your face and neck, <laughs> traveling down into the shoulders, all the way down into the arms and fingers. Allow your body to be covered with this light of relaxation. Feel the healing energy and light going down into your chest, all the way down to your hips. Feel it continue traveling, traveling down your legs slowly all the way down to your toes. Your whole body is now filled with divine healing, light, and energy. Allow that healing energy 
to completely fill any physical area that needs healing or release. Feel it warming, healing, and expanding through the area. Allow the healing light to bring peace and healing to any emotional issues or traumas that you may have feel. Bring your awareness to any intentions or desires that you may have. Hold the thoughts of those intentions or desires as you allow the healing energy to bring your deepest desires to life and your intentions to reality. Feel your connection to divine energy and light and know that all is one. Stay Relaxing, peaceful feeling of bliss. Allow yourself to take it in slowly and slowly, slowly come back to presence. So thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy it. Feel free to leave any feedback, questions, comments that you may have below. Uh, like, share, subscribe. All that. Uh, <laughs> our page again is Satchel's. Thinkers and Dreamers Inc. And also the Moon Goddess Moon. We love y'all. Love you. This. We have some candles. We have special healing crystals that are set up as well so that we keep the vibe right here. Um, and again, just thank you all for attending and if everyone would not would mind just introducing yourself quickly um thank you Chaz again for joining us we to truly appreciate this and Definitely. everyone else who's on please let us know who you are and where you're checking in from don't be shy now y'all come on <laughs> don't everybody hi hey, everyone <laughs> I'm Taisha um Sutton invited me happy to be here Thank Hello, you. thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Who else we got up in here? I see a couple names up there. Hi, y'all. My name is Afira. Um, I know both Satin and Talima, and I think this is now my third moon gathering. Happy to be here. Chaz, I'm so excited that you're on. And um, everyone else, I hope you take, you know, something amazing from this experience. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Tara. So again, um, like I said, initially, we're going to be going through a little bit of the significance of what this 1212 new moon is. And Halima is our moon specialist. She's the moon <laughs> goddess here. That's her name. Know it. You can follow her on Instagram, moon goddess. Three, three. Three, three. Yeah. Um, and you can follow me as well if you don't already. Uh, my name is Satin Doll 86 and then my business page is Satros. So got it back here just mm -hmm. in case y'all want to know. Um, and yeah, so Halima just gonna give us a little bit of information regarding this moon that we have tonight. Yep. So today is um, 1212, December 12th, and in numerology, 12 is a very, very important number. It is really energetically charged with good luck. Um, I personally did a little raffle today to kind of like test the little limits or whatever. Um, I entered into an $8 raffle and I won 100 bucks. So I usually don't do stuff like that, but it just goes to show, you know what I mean, that the, the good luck energy is definitely there today. Um, in numerology, anytime we have a double digit kind of number, we want to break it down individually so that we can get the full magnitude of the energy behind that number. 
So with the number 12, you know, the number one in numerology signifies new beginnings. It signifies um, spiritual clarity, um, the start of a spiritual journey. Um, everything kind of new is with the number one. When you have the number two, it's all about collaboration, partnerships, networking. So the number 12 together, you know, is letting us know that this is a good day and a good time for networking, for starting something new, maybe with some new people. Um, this portal that we have today is kind of going to catapult us into that networking partnership um, kind of energy. Um, so we have the new moon um, eclipse is actually taking place on December 14th and that's going to be at 11 a.m. And what is going to happen is the new moon is going to pass directly between the earth and the sun and it's going to completely block out the sun. So hopefully we have a clear day so that we can actually, you know, see that happen. It'll be at 11 a.m. Um, during the day. So hopefully, again, the, the weather is permitting and lets us... Um, lets us actually see that happen but with that energy with the the solar eclipse um what we can expect is again this entire theme for the end of the year is going to be about new beginnings we have the self node being triggered and you know self node is all about your destiny so a lot of us right now are rethinking what our career path is what is our life's purpose we're no longer focused on what is going to make us the most money we are more concerned with what's going to nurture our soul what's going to feed our soul what's going to genuinely make us happy all right so when the south node is triggered we also are going to see a lot of endings so there's going to be a lot of completion a lot of cycles coming to an end thank god with the way this year has been going i am ready to completely close this year out and start brand new we've all taken a lot of l's we've had several losses and friendships relationships we have people who have transitioned on to you know higher dimensions and things like that um so we all have to come to terms with those losses so that they can kind of build us up and prepare us for what's to come in 2021 um we are going to be feeling a lot of strong emotions with this new moon with the eclipse with the 1212 energy transitioning into the 1221 energy um just be prepared to feel and journal and get it off you and recognize what these feelings are because the recognition of these feelings is going to be the building blocks for our 2021 recognizing what is triggering us recognizing what's no longer serving us letting dead weight fall by the wayside you know what i mean and preparing ourselves and opening up our minds to bring in the new new people new opportunities some of us are going to be moving. A lot of you guys don't even realize it, but some of you guys are going to be moving, changing locations. All of these things are all um, encompassed in this energy that we're seeing. Um, the solar eclipse is going to align with Mercury, which is in the south node, which is also squared Neptune. And we're also getting a soft push from Mars. So all of that energy screams emotional roller coaster. It screams being sad and then being angry. And then it, you're kind of going to go through the straight stages of grief. You know what I mean? Just go through it, feel it, release it, let it go so that the new can kind of pour in. All right. You guys are going to really want to take your time with making any major decisions. Um, the theme here is really thinking first and acting later. Make sure you guys are taking your sweet time with any, any major decisions that you're making, even small decisions, because there's a lot of confusion going on. Um, those of you who follow, follow Imani, Imani the Hood Healer um, on, on IG know that confusion is a choice. You know what I mean? So we're trying to get out of that confused state and move into some clarity. And that's what 1212 12 14 and 12 21 are going to bring us it's going to get that fog away we're releasing that dead weight so that we can welcome in the new for 2021 all right yes. anyone have any questions or feedback about this new moon that we're in right now and remember guys that uh, we feel energy a few days before the phenomenon actually happens and then a few days after so the exhaustion that you guys are feeling, all of that is a part of all of these planetary changes and the things going on with the moon right now. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what's going to be happening with this 2020 portal that's opening on the 21st of this month. Um, 
the for all of us who have studied all things occult and astrology and numerology this is pretty much what they are calling the shift from right now we're technically in the age of pisces um to the age of aquarius uh and the age of pisces is known for like a uh, greed and selfishness but transitioning into the age of aquarius is more like people are more aware of their personal powers and like she said the community and the collective coming together as one and this is known as the grand conjunction um so in this conjunction jupiter and saturn are together and they're closer to the earth than they have been and this only happens every 20 years um and this portal that is opening now uh has not happened since the medieval times so it's really really big like i said we're going to see a transition in the way the world is run as we can see now it's 2020 and all the changes that are happening um a lot of people say there's going to be a shift in our government and just everything a lot of people are going to the veil is being lifted essentially so we see what was and what true versus now really we're seeing what truly is and what's coming um so again it's happening on december 1st of the 21st of this year and um during this time we're gonna have feelings of ease and this is again like kalima said a great time to get what you want and know that it's okay to be who you are and mm -hmm. step into your own power because we are all individuals and you know society has us all thinking that we have to be one way um and it's not if you have if you think outside the box this is the best time to do that and to manifest your dreams into fruition um and just to know that we are not just beings on this earth we are the earth we are of the earth we literally have gold and minerals in our bodies so that means we have the power to manifest and transcend to the next level um so again like i said there's high frequency time right now it's the time to manifest uh and help us new reach new ways of heights and, and of living and just the way we're doing things um so with the shift into what we're calling the age of aquarius we will see a shift into more like she said community-based living um pisces is more singular so it's like i said selfish and in the age of aquarius we're going to realize that together we're all one like i said we are all of the earth we are the earth um so we will be transitioning into a time of community this is a good time to find your soul family and those who you connect with the most um and it's okay it's great to connect with things like crystals and meditation uh to gain answers to what we need because at this time a lot of people will be getting a lot of downloads you might be having crazy dreams or like she said high feelings of anxiety but this is great because this is letting you know that you're ready to shift into the next portal in the next phase of life um so again i said uh it's collective conscious of people uh things will be going one way or another for those so some are more aware uh and it's like the the cross between good versus evil so the potential of manifestation is great so i i say the example all of the time there's what one two three four five six of us seven of us in this meeting right now right and we have the power together if we sat here and we decided to manifest something bad that can come to fruition but if we all work together and we're consciously thinking of good vibes and things that we want that will also come into fruition so again it's important to make sure your energy is right during this time you have high positive vibes and that you have power uh trust in the power of your own self and also your community um so again aquarius is the time where people are aware of their personal powers um they don't like the powers that be don't want us to focus on community especially in the minority community they want us to focus on separation and now is the time for us to really come together as we can see with all the marches and yeah. all the awareness of the injustices that have been done towards our black and brown people predominantly that it's it's time for a change and we're ready for that shift and this age of aquarius is the time to bring that all about um so again this is separation of vibrations high and low yes. and during this time you want to really really think positive all the time uh the universe is clearing space so all of this is what's considered like death and reincarnation mm -hmm. so again the universe is becoming whole and new again uh so it's time to let go of the old belief systems with this people will capitalize off the chaos so we have to be careful and conscious of the vibrations that we allow into our space as well 
Don't just let anybody into your soul family because not everybody's meant to be there. Not all skin folk is kin folk. That's right. And just like Nipsey said, circle got small. Everybody can't go. Right. If everyone doesn't think the same way that you do, then it's time to, to leave them behind. You can love them from a distance, but it's time to step into your own power. Again, I said this is time to thrive as a collective. Uh, this is uh, why we're having, like I said, our soul family is extremely important. And this time... And all this mess that's going on in 2020 has allowed us to see that we are all truly connected. None of us are exempt from this quarantine that we're in now or mm -hmm. all this energy that's going around. So, like I said, it's important to know that we are collective. Um, and also, it's a good time to no longer trust in just like money and material things. Um, it's time to realize that the earth and our universe provides us with all that we need and really the true powers in our brains our hearts our souls um so like i said this is the age of pisces coming to an end is really a closing of a massive karmic phase uh and we're stepping into a new earth and it's time to step into our power yes damn this is really an exciting time because <clears throat> You right now have the power to rewrite your entire life and the planets are literally aligning for you to be able to do that. This is a time where we're meditating on the themes that we want for 2021. What do you want for yourself for 2021? What do you want for your life? As we're ascending into these new dimensions and these new timelines, what do we want for our tribe? Who do we want around us? You know, we have to start practicing discernment. You know, uh, my husband Des and I are constantly talking about the code of ethics. We always look at people's internal code of ethics. If you do not have one, you cannot sit at our table. You cannot be around us. You cannot participate in the activities that we participate in because karma is guilt by association as well. And people who are carrying negative karma, I don't want to bring that into my household. Mm -hmm. So now there's so many friendships that I have let go of this year. It's mind-blowing. People that have been in my life since I moved to Massachusetts when I was 12 years old, I've had to let go of this year because the price was too high. I could not, I can't pay the price for people anymore. Mm -hmm. We are taking away the value of money and placing that value on our souls. We're here to save souls. This is what we're doing right now. What do you want for yourself? What do you want for your life? What do you want for the next generation? We're doing all of this work for the sake of our kids. So we're doing the hard part so that this is easy for them to walk into. Abundance is our birthright. Prosperity is our birthright. But there's steps that we have to take in order to get to that, and that's community development. And these are the beginning stages of community development. You know what I mean? Knowing who you are, walking in your truth, staying in your lane, Focusing on your path and your life's purpose and the people that are meant to be a part of that will attract them You're gonna uh, uh, You're gonna attract it with ease You this is not something that needs to be met with resistance This is a time to surrender and let go and let the universe do what the universe is gonna do Do you guys have any questions or any comments or anything that you want to add to what we're discussing So it's funny because I just got a Moon Spells book and I haven't opened it yet. Mm -hmm. And today, right now, is when I actually got to open it, you know. And uh, <clears throat> my therapist does the, has been doing the chakras with me for a while, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it, it, it's tremendous. And just doing it with you guys right now, I realized I haven't been meditating the way I need to because I can feel it in my body. And then when you said, like, being tired the last couple days and the changing, like, that just, I was like, oh, that makes so much sense to me right now because, <laughs> like, the last three nights I haven't really slept. And, you know, and I'm like, it's okay, I, I'm getting ready. The sleep's going to come and I'm going to be renewed into this year. So, no, this is, I, I'm just happy that I found people that think like I do. My boyfriend thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that sometimes. Well, they say yeah, the greatest, the like, greatest people are those who everyone off, thought was crazy off, before. My yeah. diffusers, and and I'm like, what are you doing? Don't just don't touch anything. I, it's here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it alone. <laughs> you know, just just uh, uh like I told him earlier, 
I told him yesterday. I said, I have a Zoom meeting. I said, at 3 o'clock. So if you come home when the door is shut, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> I hear you. That, right. Because, I mean, we are. This is, this is where... Uh, or with the work starts. Yeah, you know, it's our energy definitely work. And connected and, and finding like minds. And then when you had said that and having people around you and willingness, it was like if I didn't talk to somebody earlier in the week and make a comment, like none of this would have happened. And I'm like, it, it all happened the way it was supposed to. Like, it's That's so right. cool. I love it when everything becomes clear, you know, because things might not always be clear for us. Right. or have that understanding at the moment and if we can at least walk through it but to have other strong females is so cool like this is amazing so thank you oh we appreciate it for sure we definitely do and like we said earlier this is a time to transition into letting go of like holding on to material possessions and giving them value because like i said the earth provides everything that we need and we have it within ourselves so as i said if you have crystals if you have sage find your time daily to just step aside and even if it's just for a minute or two to just pause and think about what it is that you want to manifest or what's bothering you and release that um i can't stress the importance of not holding on to the things that don't suit us and that hurt us and are harmful to us because that keeps our vibration low and we just want to keep our vibrations high we want to be positive because mm -hmm. really thoughts mm -hmm. are things Yes. anything that we think is really truly what happens so if you walk around with a negative mindset all the time and you're unhappy and you're always thinking or talking down on yourself and speaking negativity into yourself that's what you're going to attract so we want the to be positive right the actions follow suit like Alina said so we want to practice positivity speaking life and bringing love into ourselves because with that we will transcend to the next level we'll be our higher selves we'll be and walking in our power and just things will be better essentially for us and i cannot stress the power of manifestation when i tell you these last two and a half years or so like when i've really been on this spiritual journey at first i was unsure and like scared to really like ask and envision myself with what i wanted and i had to sit down and meditate on, clearly on what it was that i truly wanted and who i was and this has been uh time sadness happiness i've literally went through every emotion i feel like i went through all the stages of grief literally <laughs> um to come to where i am now and like i said when you manifest you want to really put yourself there like if you're trying to say i want to open a business put yourself in that business so imagine yourself in your store in your whatever it is that you want to do and it will happen i'm it's crazy. I manifested my daughter. I have a four month old now and I said I wanted a baby and I literally said I wanted her to be born in July and all these other things and everything about my daughter that I manifested, she is. And it's even true. down to the time that <laughs> she came and everything like that. With my, I have a business. With that, I manifest everything. Uh, I set goals for myself. I set a number goal for my Black Friday sales, for example. And I not only reached that, I exceeded that. that every time. Every time. Yep. And um, so that's what I said. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want and to truly make sure you envision yourself there with that. Don't speak it like it could happen. Speak it as if it is. It is, like you already have it. Like you already have it. And mm -hmm. that's really important with the power of manifestation. My biggest blockage for myself when I first started on this journey and getting into manifestation and realizing how much power I had was recognizing my worth i didn't realize that i didn't think i deserved the things that i wanted mm -hmm. until they weren't manifesting and i couldn't figure out why because i'm doing the rituals i have all the tools i'm doing all the things and it's like when you sit down with yourself for a while you start hearing that that small voice like in your stomach that's saying you don't deserve it mm -hmm. you're not supposed to have this because the way my life was set up growing up it was I grew up off of survival. Everything was a lack. We didn't have shit. You know what I mean? So you grow up into this adult person thinking that's the way life is supposed to be. When in fact, 
abundance and everything in this world is a birthright it is what you are supposed to have people will make you feel bad about yourself for walking in your purpose and for feeling that you're entitled to some things i've put a lot into the universe and i want my roi i want my return on my investment i deserve it i've done the work i'm doing the work and i'm bringing people along on the journey for with me so once i understood that i'm worthy I deserve this I've earned this this is this is I'm here for a reason and for a purpose my life is designed for a purpose it completely changed everything you can't tell me anything now there's nothing that I can't have run a business I have three children running a household I'm a wife I run a residential program I'm also a program director so I work for the man and I work for myself and I run a household and I try to be there for my friends and be social and you know do all the things and and help people anytime that I can and we're doing it you know what I mean and we're doing it for our community and we're showing our community what sisterhood looks like we're leading examples of what a sisterhood can do mm -hmm. because now look at all of you right. fruits of our connection it's a beautiful thing and it all starts with understanding your worth. Me and Satin wouldn't be able to sit here together if we both didn't recognize our worth within ourselves and in our worth within each other. That's true. It's all mirrors and it's all balance. And for anyone who's feeling alone, you got your sisters right here. We're always available if you just want to talk, if you have questions. Um, like I said, I'm the type of person, if anyone who knows me, I always have crystals with me. I put them in my bra. Yeah. Yep. I have I have in them the in my car. <laughs> I put them in, under my daughter's crib when she's sleeping. Everybody. Because when you place or hold crystals over your body, uh, it interacts with your body chakras. Yep. So it promotes physical and mental wellness. Um, using different ways, they can improve your concentration and your creativity. Just so many different things. So if any of you have questions about crystals or anything like that i can go on for days yeah hit me up dm me that's one of my passions um there's even certain crystals that we should carry for like our birth months yeah um so like Protection. i said get yourself some crystals some of the starter ones that are great are like a uh, rose quartz uh, selenite is great for manifestation as well um, selenite, like selenite too if you put a piece in each of the four corners of your house will ward yeah. off the negative yeah. energy that's yeah. the same with tourmaline uh, i yeah. when you walk in my house if you look at the the rims of the doorways i have black tourmaline all throughout my house all throughout yeah. my house my car yeah my car yeah. Yeah. I get a bag of it that's right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, that's actually what i give is 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 as kind of give as gifts is, oh yeah uh, crystals or oils or or uh I've given sage to some people, um, oh just because I need it around me too. Mm -hmm. So if I'm actually gifting it to you, it has that energy in it. And if I charge it before, you know, the full moon, after the full moon, and give it to them, um, whether they believe or not, I know, you know. So it, it's, uh, yeah. But the, the crystals are amazing. Some of them are expensive. They but, they can yeah. get pretty expensive. Right um the last moon that we had uh, the last full moon the focus was really on resting um we didn't do a moon meetup because it was literally you weren't supposed to do anything right. there you were supposed right. to do no manifesting you were supposed to do no releasing the way that that um lunar eclipse was set up it was removing everything from you for you i don't know if you guys remember how you guys were feeling with the last full moon I was drained. I was exhausted. Even if I wanted to do something, I did not have the energy to do it. You guys have to really listen to your bodies because your bodies sometimes are more in tune than your minds are. Your bodies will tell you when it's time to rest. So with the last full moon, we, re we rested. This is kind of still a semi-resting period, but we want to be manifesting because portals are opening. And with the next full moon that we have, it's going to be full on meditation full-on manifestation this is our last lunar cycle of 2021 and it is a big one with all of the energy that's going on in the um in the universe right now so everything has its time everything has its place and right now we have the power to make 2021 whatever we want it to be i mean 2020 was hard but even with quarantine, even with some of us having to be out of work, like, I really can't complain about 2020. 
I'm here, I'm alive, my family as well, no one fell sick during this year, you know, they've been protected, my kids are doing well, my husband's doing well, I really, I don't have anything that I can really complain about, I've been blessed and I've been protected throughout this year, and 2021 is going to be even better for us. Right. And with this full moon that's coming up at the end of the month, we will be doing another meetup. Yep. Um, and we will be doing manifestations and uh, getting ready for 2021. Uh, so an activity that we want to do for the next meetup is just have everyone, everyone prepared. We're going to be doing our vision boards. Yep. Because when we envision our dreams and we bring them to reality, essentially. So it's important to do that. You know, people set a New Year's resolution. But when you have something that's tangible and you it's in see. front of you that you can see that motivates you a little bit more to accomplish what you want to mm -hmm. um i know most of us on here have probably already done vision boards but i i do them frequently and especially with the new year coming i think it's really important so at our next meetup we will be doing vision boards and um, hopefully everyone can turn on their cameras and we can interact unfortunately with this covid mess we can't be closer together normally we like to be in a circle and really just like feed off of each other's energy but um Again, like we said, share it with people. We will be doing this again. Uh, and just back to crystals, I just want to tell everyone about my favorite, which is kyanite. Um, kyanite is known to open up the throat chakra. So it helps to encourage communication and self-expression. So if you can get your hands on this, this is great to have with you when you're manifesting for the new year. Um, and it helps you speak one's truth. So... Yeah, I know I've um, been preaching that lately. Open up that throat chakra. Right. Speak up. So, um, and in our next meetup, we will be going a little bit more in depth. I'll talk about different seven chakras that we have within our body um, and the significance of those. Uh, but right now, we want to kind of just transition and do a little bit of journaling. Um, if everyone has a pen and paper, we'll give you a few minutes to go grab one. Um, we always do this at our moon meetups, and it's just a way to write down uh, manifestations. Yep. And we're not doing those. No. We're not going to do any releasing again because this is not uh, the moon to do that. But we will be doing uh, some write down your manifestations, kind of start thinking about what you want to come into fruition within the next year. And we'll do this for, say, we'll put a timer on for like five minutes or so. Yes. And then we'll come back. And if anyone wants to discuss this, we can as well. Okay. Right now, we want to just have you all maybe think of a question mm -hmm. um, that you have. And. Uh, we're going to pull a couple cards yep. and go into it. The first one will signify, um, I guess, like the past with it. Yep. The we'll second one present. will signify where you are right now. Um, and then the third one will signify your questions that you have going forward and what you need to do with it. And then we're going to pull another card uh, from our angels and ancestors to see what messages that they might have for us as well going forward. Yeah, and if you have cards of your own and you want to pull them, pull them for yourself as well. Now, set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the good and growth of all beings. Past, present, future. Past card, Six of Cups. When we pull Six of Cups, it's typically telling us that we have some inner child work to do. Okay? Working a little too hard. Losing sight of the dreams that we had. The goals that we had. This is telling us that we need to go back into a childlike state of mind. All right? We need to go back to that playful state of mind. Who did you want to be when you were a kid? What did you want to be when you were a kid? What did you see your life being like from the child's perspective of your adult life now? All right. Second card that fell out of the deck is the Empress. Okay. This is about standing in our power, standing in our truth. Okay. 
See, she's standing here in all of her power and all of her glory. We figured out with the inner child what it is that we're trying to do, and now we're standing firm in that presently. We're walking to the beat of our own drum. We're focused on ourselves. We're focused on our soul's mission. Things are starting to align and come into fruition because we're walking the path that we are supposed to walk. Third card for the future will leave me chuckles. The two of wands. Partnership. What is today? What did I break down with numerology today? The number two. Working together. Working collectively. Working in the community. Stop being afraid of your community. We have a lot of talent within our community. There's a lot of good hearts and souls within our community. Stop being afraid to work with your brother and your sister. That's what this is telling us for our future. 2021 is going to be all about collaboration. This is our confirmation right here. Awesome. See? This is all clarification. And that's that's what these cards become a tool for us. Absolutely. To clarify things that we need. And they give us messages that we didn't even expect. At first, I was a little wary about tarot cards i'll tell you i was like i don't know about this Me you know too. i was a church kid they're like oh this is the devil yep. and you know i had to sit down and when i realized like what was coming out of them and the messages that i would get was getting and knowing that my intent was all positive then that's what came forward and i pulled a card from um to get a message from our ancestors this is one of my favorite decks it's the angels and ancestors deck and the card that i pulled was the sun <laughs> which is crazy so the sun represents power uh, and enjoying our success and happiness. So the message that we need to take forward is know that doors are opening for you. Follow up on your new projects, ventures, ideas, and connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. So that goes back to everything yep. that we've been talking about here. Manifesting your dreams, knowing that you're powerful, coming together with your soul family, your friends, and finding out and just going to the next level. Um, so the sun has been associated with the energy of success and it's the most powerful planet in the solar system so we are powerful beings we hold all that within us um, so if the when the sun card appears in a reading it means that it will bring power success and light it brightens all connections it banishes darkness what does the sun do it shines bright right we have that power to shine bright and the potential to do that within ourselves. So it brings us a sense of youthfulness, which goes back to that first card that Haluma yeah. pulled. We got to connect with our inner child. Yeah. And a lot of times we got to heal our inner child Absolutely. so that we can move forward. Um, so this card invites you to connect to the energy of joy uh, so that you can bring light and spirit and, uh, and happiness into your heart. Don't you just love that? Everything just like, that's just a perfect way to sum up all the work that we've done today. That is a perfect clarification that we're doing the right thing and also a little bit of guidance on what more we can do so that we are continuously stepping into what is rightfully ours and becoming the beings that spirit has intended for us to be and fulfill the purpose that spirit has put us on this earth to do. Right. I love you guys. I love you too. And I'm so grateful for you all for joining us today. Um, does anyone have any closing remarks or anything they want to say before we close everything out? Thank you, Tara. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you guys for riding with this us. Awesome. This is awesome. Thank so you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, my vibe is, like, so high right now. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I love this. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for rocking with us and joining and participating and just being here this whole time. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know we've been doing this for a while and we're constantly evolving and just trying to make sure we can keep doing this for you guys no matter what, you know, is going on with the chaos in the outside world, you know? Um, so we're grateful that you guys are still here with us and still riding this wave with us as, you know, we're ebbing and flowing through this thing. Thank, Thank you. you. So happy you enjoyed it. Um, so again, we're going to be closing out now. Um, thank you all for being here with us today. This was amazing. Um, and this video will also be posted uh on our youtubes yep uh both of us have one hers is moon goddess lean, lean. yep uh mine is satros 
uh, S-A-T-U-R-A-L-S. Uh, we'll also have this information provided on both of our Instagram pages. Yeah. Um, so my Instagram is moon underscore goddess underscore three three. My YouTube is the moon goddess Leem. Moon goddess is one word. And you guys can find me on Facebook under Halima Walters. And I think that's it for right now. <laughs> And just so you know, we won't like put, lot, put all of your names and things like that in there if you don't feel right. comfortable with that. So don't worry about that. Um, my Instagram for my business is Satrals, S-A-T-U-R-A-L-S. -S. Um, that's also my YouTube page. It's not functioning yet. All my videos will be uploaded starting today or well, tomorrow. Um, and we also will be posting it on our joint page, which yep. is um, Mau Goddess. Goddess 413. Um, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can call, text, email. Um, if you want our information, we'll put it in the chat for you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you guys find Thinkers and Dreamers, Inc. Des would kill me if I didn't put our business right. out there this whole time. I've been talking about the business. <laughs> I didn't mention the business day one time. Thinkers and Dreamers, Inc. I didn't forget, babe. Thinkers right. and Dreamers, Inc. Yes, that is Selena's business. They're doing great things for our community. It's a nonprofit. They're helping the children out. Yep. They're yeah. helping us grow and develop as a collective. Um, so we out here, y'all. Check us out. Trying to make it happen. My email is satinsnaturals at gmail.com. Again, that's satinsnaturals at gmail.com. Uh, H. Walters at thinkersanddreamersinc.org. So feel free to reach out to us with any questions. And thank you again. We love you all. You are amazing. Okay. And.